Today on the debut, the very first official performance of Live from the Theater Basement, we present the 10-minute play Clipped by Stratton Rushing and directed by Chris Gunn. A touching look at two slaughterhouse employees having a sensitive and honest discussion. That's coming up tonight on Live from the Theater Basement. Canyon Movement Company presents the Nutcracker Suite and Modern Bear Feet, a virtual dance experience. Everyone loves the Nutcracker during the holidays. Our friends and neighbors at the Flagstaff-based Canyon Movement Company bring it to life this December. Tickets are available at canyonmovementcompany.org. I'm your host, Chris Verrill. Our 10-minute play today is Clipped, a thick slice of male emotional intimacy and humor in the slaughterhouse while chopping meat. That doesn't pique your interest nothing well. Stay with us right now for Clipped here on Live from the Theater Basement. How many more of these we got? Just one more big stack. Think I should wait till after we finish this one to take my smoke break? I don't mind. Either way, give my hands a break. Ah, oh, fuck it, man. Let's get it over with. I can't believe they he waited until the week before Thanksgiving to tell us we had to cube all of this. Could have been working on it all week if they told us. Instead, we get carpal tunnel. Ah, shit. Oh, man. You got to get that first slice down the middle. You got something going on today? What is it? Nothing. Nothing, man. Nah, you can't hide nothing from me. I'm your best work friend. What's wrong? I got to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm not looking forward to my shift ending. Some bullshit with your girl, huh? Yeah. That's what I told you five months ago, Way. I told you, women get weird when they're pregnant. Could you imagine a little you growing inside of you? Shit must be exhausting. That's why the best thing you can do is just shut up, listen to whatever she says, and take care of her. What's she do? Wake up at 4 a.m. craving Brussels sprouts again? No. Well, yeah, she did, but that's not what she's pissed about. I make the Brussels sprouts every time. So what's up? It all started last week when we came back from the doctor and we found out we was having a boy. And she, well, I was pulling for a girl and the boy thing kind of freaked me out. But for a sec. You didn't want a boy? No, nah, not really, I don't guess. Why not? I mean, obviously it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, right? But. That wasn't what the argument was about. You know, she was born in Vietnam, right? Her folks are from Saigon. And, you know, we never had cultures clash on how we wanted to raise the kid or anything, but apparently over in Vietnam, they don't uh, clip their boys. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, foreskin. Oh. Yeah, so. She asked if I want to do it, and obviously I say yes. And then she's like, my family has never done that for a thousand years. So I'm like, yeah, but he'll be born here. You don't want to make him feel like a freak. You guys really got into it. Yeah, so she goes on and says, there's nothing wrong, freakish about the natural human body, and that's genital mutilation, and I don't want to do that to my kid. So I'm like, wait. Are you calling my genitals mutilated? And at about that time, we got to the slaughterhouse, so she dropped me off, and well, yeah, I'm not looking forward to the ride home. Damn, I wouldn't want to be you right now. What do you think, man? Am I wrong here? I'm not circumcised. Really? Yeah, I guess it's not a big thing with Mexicans. Have girls ever uh, commented on it? Nah, man. Most of them don't care. I've had a couple be real mean about it, though. This one chick said it looked like an anteater. In that moment, I have to say, it did make me feel like less of a man. But I guess having a foreskin technically makes me more of a man. 
See, that's what I'm worried about. Him getting ready for his first time, dropping trow and freaking some girl up. Not even because there's anything wrong with it, but like, I don't want it to give him a complex. Yeah, that's true. I just imagine like we go to Fenway, his first baseball game, right? We go to take a piss in that row of urinals they got, and he accidentally gets a peek at mine. If I don't look the same, he's going to think that's weird, right? Then he's going to ask, and I either got to tell him my dick got chopped when I was a baby, and I didn't want that for him, or it was just a choice that I let his mom make. Either way, what does that tell him about being a man? You know, either scenario, I set a shit, I set a shit example. I think you're probably thinking about this a lot harder than he will. I just really want to get it right. Hey, they always say that extra skin makes it harder to clean. Is it harder to clean? I don't know. I don't watch other guys' dicks. <laughs> you know who'd probably be an expert on all this? Gay dude. They know more than anybody. I can call my cousin. We could probably ask him anything. Yeah, uh, no, nah, man, I appreciate it, but hey, you mind if I look something up real quick? I clocked out at six either way. What you looking up? I want to see how many countries actually, you know, like if they don't do it in Vietnam and Mexico, where else? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder too. Wow. What does it say? Man, that's what, like 75%? Most of the world. Hmm. Well, that wasn't what I expected. Makes sense. It's easier just to leave it than slice it off. You're going to be fine, man. You two have months to figure it out. What, four months? That's not nearly enough time. Can he get it done later? Like just make it his call when he's an adult. Wouldn't that be hotter? Like, when they're older, wouldn't it have to heal and everything as a grown man? Yeah, but even then, man, it's probably no big deal. You probably won't be all upset about it later in life either way. I guess what really gets me is, like, when she called it genital mutilation this morning. I can't get it out of my head. Is it mutilation? I don't know, man. Do you? feel mutilated not until about four hours ago it got me thinking when the doctors asked my mom after i was born what did she think my dad wasn't around did she just assume she didn't have a guy there so did she just do it because everyone else does like she didn't have guidance on it and she did great i think but a dad a man that's different I mean, I don't want my answer for my son to be, well, this is what everybody else does. But, like, all I know is my own way, you know? You're still talking about dicks, right? Yeah. I just, I want to make the right call. This is my first choice on showing him how to be a man, and he isn't even born yet. I don't know what to tell you. Because I'm single, I have a foreskin, and I had a dad. But I do know, if I was a little half Vietnamese, half Irish boy born in the south of Boston, and I got to pick my dad, I'd pick one out like you. Thanks, Miguel. <clears throat> you could take your smoke break. I only have a couple more here. You sure? Yeah. I'll be right outside. Hey, no, no, everything's good. I, uh, I just want to, I had a sec and I wanted to call. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'll cook some for you late when I get home then. Hey, uh, listen, I was doing some Google searches and I found a couple of articles about what we were talking about this morning and I want to be sure we have the facts about it. And I just don't, I want to do whatever's best for him, you know? I want to go off of the facts. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, too. 
I love you. I'll see you at six. Well, ready, ready to see what we got to do next? Yeah. Get your mask and come down to the Museum Club on Route 66 in Flagstaff. The Museum Club, with masks and social distancing and vigorous sanitation procedures, is now open. Have some fun, stay safe, and wear your mask. All at the Museum Club. Today's 10-minute play was clipped by Stratton Rushing. Directed by our very own Chris Gunn. Well done, Chris. Uh, and Billy was played by Brian Shea, Miguel by Nick Buzan. Live from the theater basement, producers Jamie Hisapis and Linda Sutera. Engineer Matt Brewer. Technicians Joe Maniglia and Jaden Roberts. Associate producers and members of the Live from the Theater Basement Steering Committee, Virginia Brown, John Propster, and Michael Rulon. Our crew, all the people who helped put the whole show together, Hayden Eckhaus, Casey Garcia, Ava Haynes, Malene LeBurge, Justin Moscow, and joining us just this week, Mariko Tenkumo. Dramaturgy, Theatricos Artistic Committee, Play Curation, Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase, Executive Producer, Chris Verrill. Live from the theater basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m. and available wherever you get your podcasts, is a production of Theatricos Theater Company. In partnership with Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase and Deuteran Films. Theatricos Theater Company, Flagstaff, Arizona, is the theater company of Northern Arizona and the Brand Grand Canyon. Embracing the spirit of Broadway with the shows like the Christmas comedy A Tuna Christmas with one final performance on December 20th and the family comedy Well opening January 29th. Season tickets for all of the 21 season are now available at theatricos.com. Live from the Theater Basement is a new show which has been in previews for a long time and this is is the official launch today. If you're a playwright of a 10-minute show, NAPS will begin accepting submissions for the 2021 contest in the spring. Email theater at theatricos.com for submission guidelines. If you'd like to see wonderful 10-minute shows live, in person, when we have a vaccine and the pandemic's over, you can follow Northern Arizona Playwriting Showcase on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you as a listener viewer have input, we'd love to hear from you. Email us at theater at theatricos.com. Live from the theater basement, streaming live on Sunday evenings at 7.30 p.m. and available wherever you get your podcast, is funded in part by the Flagstaff Arts Council, hashtag creative Flagstaff, the Arizona Community Foundation, additional funding from the Arizona Commission on the Arts, Flagstaff 365, BBB revenue from the city of Flagstaff and patrons of the arts like you. Thanks for joining us here on the debut performance of Live from the Theater Basement. This is Theatricos. Coming up next week 